Ever wanted to carry your team to victory and to have way more gold than anybody else in every game? Ever wanted to get your full item boot in less than 37 minutes while Zira, Janna, Leona, Diana, Fiora and Mama can even afford a getaway to fill up their empty slot? Well, GG, today's your lucky day because I'll show you how to play Ashi, the money maker! Here are the runes, masteries, skill distribution and items that you need to be the most greedy fuckabish in all the league. Learning phase! You need to open the game with a great firework by sending your suicide over right and enemies faces. Then, your job is to finish off any fuckabish that Alistar carefully headbutt to you. Notice that early game. You won't deal a lot of damage because you bought this, that and that for more god income instead of other items that deal damage. However, you will deal enough damage to kill your twin sister or a Lee where Jenkins still now with is no problem. By sacrificing a bit of damage early, you'll be rewarded late game because you'll have no problem to kill Stanziana and to shoot for arrows to Ezreal's knee for a successful solo threesome. You will also be able to have a one night stand with that Yorick without moving from your spot. You will also even be able to send Zira back to your garden without letting her make a single move. You will also even as well be able to warn that Gertie Fox to never leave Naruto's manga ever again. You will also even as well no problem be able to kill Ezreal once again before he escapes to a safe spot. And let that kiddo leave because he only knows how to run away. Since this kiddo is back for more, you can easily kill him without even trying. What's more, you can harass that alien without killing her so you can shoot even more arrows to her knee later on. Skill tips! Your suicidal bird's first ability lets you get bonus gold for every kill you make and it must be max first. This skill is great because it works on minions, on the golems, offspring, on the kids that the red lizard babysit for 1 gold an hour, on the blue golems cousin, and even on enemy champions. That is why you should guess your team by last hitting a Greedy Graves, a Poking Fiora, a Leona in Ali, a Fell Ninja Leona in the brush, a Dancing Katarina giving a free show, a Nando Worman, a Blind Fuckabish, a Janna chased by Water Shit Monsters, a Running Draven, and Garen's best friend. If you do that, you can send that Nando Worman flying to heaven, no problem. But then success! Your suicidal bird second ability lets you send your pet to scout an area to spot any fuck up is trying to ambush you while you're taking down the enemy's tower. It can also be used to jungle faster than ever if you're lazy to walk in every camp to smack these guys. If that skill is on cooldown, don't hesitate to flash here and there to c -c 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 counter jungle without losing a single second to walk here. If that's not enough, you can take clairvoyance and use Frodo Stalker to c -c 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 counter jungle even more. Given that your supersized arrow gives you vision when you use it, you could waste it to get a brief vision on the enemy's jungle camp to make more pocket money. Your lucky 7 skill is awesome to piss off your team even more because you can kiss anyone from far away. Be it a greedy Graves, a running Ezreal, a greasy sneak kick Janna in the ass by the perfect mom, a weed that doesn't know that Ashi's arrow can penetrate the wall, and a Chinese spear that didn't see Ashi attack him with his small eyes. If you want to finish off an enemy like a boss, Flash Lucky 7 Ignite combo that fuck a bitch and go back to farming. Speaking of farming, your Lucky 7 can be used to shoot several minions at the same time to farm faster than ever. Your super sized arrow is the best skill you have to get assist and it should always be used on a fail counter jungle Ziha to let Jack savagely jump on her, on a far away teamfight to help your teammates finish off a dying fuck a bitch, and on a dying kiddo by doing an ultimate combo. But, if you are a jerk like me, you will use it to kiss a teammate when she's about to die or on your twin sister enjoying a hot force song. Don't hesitate to use it on a dashing dirty fox trying to tower dive you, on a ponita to save your bit of grok solid dude, and on a Yorick spamming master just when he's about to respawn from death to piss him off. Ninja ganking like a penny hunter! If you want a sure kill, hide there and slow lucky 7 super sized arrow combo that Zera to have a quickie with her. Use your super sized arrow on a Diana hiding in a brush. Ghost to catch up with her, Lucky 7 to damage her, Flash Dart to dodge and grab from Blitzcrank, and kill that white woman. But fuck the brush with your butt fucking friend until Vega face check this brush to Lucky 7 super sized arrow slow combo him to send him back to the Final Fantasy world. Stun that shitty rat in the brush that doesn't want to recall and finish your dirty foursome in beauty. Do not let that Diana walk up because if she's able to farm even a tiny little bit. You can say goodbye to your victory for this match. Team fights! In early team fights, you won't deal any mega damage. 
But it's more than enough to kill some greedy fucka bitches trying to tar dive a dang flying woman without letting any enemy survive to have an easy triple kill. That's right, to kill the enemies, you must shoot a lot of arrows to the knee before they fall in the battlefield. And that is why you must stick with your butt fucking friend to be able to kill them, no problem. Don't worry, if you think you need some mega damage early on, you're mistaken because you can ninja the enemies from the back to save your poisonous pet. Now that you made enough gold with these 3 awesome items and with your suicidal bird skill, you can finally sell them to buy the Bloodthirster, Alas Whisper, and a Guardian Angel. Uh, never mind. Let's party with a Trinity Force to deal tons of damage, right freak? Now that you have your full item build in less than 37 minutes, you can easily kill anyone in a teamfight. Chase after a running cutie to not let her escape from your one night stand and to catch up with your twin sister to have a double kill. You can also synthesize our other enemies, goes to catch up to them, target that kiddo that obviously wants to flash out of the base and have a solo white knight stand with Janna while pirate boy walks off to an unknown destination. If your butt fucking friend plays that blind champion, back off a bit while attacking the enemies to save him, finish off that greedy Fiora, move on to greedy Fiora's girlfriend to save your butt fuck, to revenge your butt fucking friend. Damage that yellow super saiyan and switch your target to that faker trying so hard to kill you. Triple kill, got that success. Shoot your super size arrow on the enemies to help your team catch up with them and turn back to kill that alien that tries to ninja you from the back. If you follow everything demonstrated in this video, you will have so much spare gold that you'll be able to switch end game items whenever you want. And when you're winning your games, don't forget to shoot a firework to celebrate your victory. That's it for today people, don't forget to check out my channel for more boring League of Legends video. Feel free to leave a comment in any language you want, but I'll only answer those in English and in French because I'm a racist fuck a bitch. Ciao!